Robert, we're here in Sacramento. You're homeless, living in a tent city. Tell me about it. Yeah, I was in the first tent city. I found housing after, for 18 months through Sacramento self-help. Then that all folded in, and then I was homeless. Prior to Tent City, June 15, 2007, I worked for a property management for four and a half years. I came with housing, I had 72 hours to get off the property, and I became homeless. Well, after the 18 months that I spent with Sacramento Self-Help when Tent City, the first Tent City closed, I lost my housing and I've been out here ever since. Um, they just gave us notices to move. I'm not out here because this is my lifestyle. I don't have anywhere else to go. Uh, I have a dog that was neglected and uh, I became attached to the dog and I don't know where else to go right now. I don't want to give up the dog. They gave out notices today that we could have shelter, 50 beds, for 150 people, and it doesn't include your 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 pets. So, so I have. Well, how are they going to fit 150 people in 50 beds? It's the same thing every year. They never do. So I don't know what else to do. I've gotten three. I was out here eight months the second time and never got a ticket. Last month I got three tickets in one week, and then I came over to this side, trying to be a part of Safe Ground or the independent people out here and I haven't received no tickets. Um, so how much is the fine? The, I don't know yet, I've never had one before. Okay. I know on the fourth one they're telling us that it's a felony. So if I get one more, I'm gonna get a felony for, for pitching a tent and have, not having nowhere to, sl to sleep. My gosh. My, uh, I've had a heart attack since then. I'm trying to get to the doctor and uh, I don't have nobody to watch the dog. I'm sorry. So, uh, anyway, I'm not, I don't want to be out here. I don't have anywhere to go. 55 years old next, January 5th. I got a lot of good friends out here. There's some bad with the good like there is anywhere else. But we just don't have nowhere to go. Speaking for myself personally, I don't have no family, and uh, I have nowhere else to go, so I never thought I'd end up on Skid Row out here sleeping on docks and in back of businesses and everything, but that's what I guess I'm gonna have to do, I don't know. Um, if you had three wishes, what would they be? For everybody to have a place to stay. Yeah. I love you, brother. <laughs> just, just somewhere for somebody for us to stay where we can gather our thoughts and think about what we can do. If anybody's listening, that's all. It's not about me, it's about us. It's not about safe ground. It's not about it running around like a terrorist, clandestine camping and all that stuff. It's not about that. This isn't our lifestyle. We just want a place to go. Thank you very much for talking to me.